Hi, my name's Keely. I am a therapeutic touch practitioner and a cuddle party facilitator. I have a cuddleist certification and I continue out with training often. Long story short, I'm a professional cuddler. So anyone who doesn't know me. For anyone who does, you've seen some of my videos. And this is another one similar to them. Only this one's a little bit different. I often make these videos in order to tell people a little bit more about me, a little bit more about the profession that I do, the, you know, a little bit more about my profession, what I do, and how it can benefit their life. The reason why this video is a little bit different is because this one isn't necessarily about me. This one's about you. More to the point, it's who gets the most out of my services and what clients do I want? I talk to people all the time about empowering them to use their voice, about how asking for what you want is a superpower and the courage it takes to ask for what you want in life is transformative and I believe that. So this is me modeling that behavior. This is what I want out of clients. There's really three things. It has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with what your background is. It has nothing to do with where you come from. It has to do with three things. First of all, my best clients, the ones that I love working with, and the people who get the most out of the services that I provide, they're interested in personal growth. It's not someone who is totally fine with where they are. They don't think they have anything to work on. They, I, yeah, <laughs> there's no eloquent, there's no terribly tactful way to put that. Anyone who thinks they're above improvement, I don't, I can't help. <laughs> I can't. Um, most of us, and I work with clients on, uh, most of us have a hard time celebrating the great things about ourselves because it's seen as prideful. That's not what I'm talking about. I think it's wonderful to celebrate the things that you're good at, to um, praise yourself. If you can't be your own cheerleader, how can you expect other people to be your cheerleader, right? That's not what I'm talking about. I want people to be confident in their abilities and everyone has room to grow. So the people who get the most out of my services, the people who I love seeing are interested in growth. They're interested in improvement. They have that curious spirit. They have a, a desire for, for knowledge. They have a hunger for learning. Those are some of the most fun people. That's the first thing. They're interested in growth. The second thing, and this one's hard, they're invested in themselves. There is a lot I can do with coaching to help with confidence, to help with self-worth. I can absolutely affect that in positive ways in our in one-on-one -on -one coaching. But there has to be a little kernel in there that you think you're worth it. That you're willing to see yourself as important enough to invest in. Not just the financial investment, because frankly, what I do as an amalgam of uh, amateur talk therapy, amateur massage therapy, um, me being brave enough and vulnerable enough to let strangers into my hall, like, I, there's another video that um, I'll eventually link you to that lists why professional cuddling is um, actually extremely competitively priced for all that you get, the massive amount of value that you get in the sessions. Um, but not just financial value you have to be willing to invest in yourself. You have to think you're worth investing in. And again, there's a little bit I can do to help with coaching, but the start of that, that kernel of self-worth, it has to be in there for me to be able to pull it out. If you think that you're beyond saving, if you think that you don't deserve any time, if you think that 
um, everyone else in the world deserves to be um, taken care of first and you don't, you're at the very bottom of that pile, then I can't help because you're fundamentally believing something that's wrong. I don't say that lightly. I'm, I'm all about there's a different perspectives in the world and I embrace different perspectives. But if you think you're not worth anything, you're just wrong. So that's the second thing. And the last thing that is also a little bit difficult to come by is someone who's invested uh, in empathetic understanding. This life is hard often. Um, circumstances can be extremely difficult and people, people get hardened. And I have so much compassion for that. But there has to be a little part of you left that's unjaded enough to value empathetic understanding and new experiences, which is where that empathetic com understanding comes from. It's the, the wanting to see other people's perspectives, wanting to, uh, having that curious spirit again, like I talked about, of wanting to understand things from someone else's perspective. Or um, from another perspective, uh, wanting to understand yourself better from a different perspective. And that's it. You have to be interested in personal growth. You have to be willing to invest in yourself because you're important. And you have to at least have a passing interest, an empathetic understanding. And those are the best clients. So if you want to know who I want to see, if you fill out those three categories, I want to see you. And we can do, uh -huh, we can do amazing things together. We can change your life if that's what you want. So thank you for watching. Has a shameless plug at the end, even though I hate to do this. If you would, hit subscribe below. <laughs> that actually really, really helps me. It is a free way to support me and support the work that I do and to support others, your community members, because the more subscri subscriptions I get, the more people can see this. And maybe that's the message that they needed today. So thank you.